Hey everyone, Multiple 456, Gilly Ultimates, and welcome to episode 35 of Less Platinum Elden Ring. Uh, I don't know why. I, oh, I lost health because of the. because of those, um. jellyfish. Doesn't matter. Huh, I thought these were glintstone fireflies. I guess not. Okay, let's continue. Let's go over here. Follow the. stick to the right wall. Good friend, turtle. Sorry, good friend, turtle. Land squirts. So we finally, uh, if you might remember, there was a note about land squirts earlier in the game that said uh, they were weak to poison, or poison causes them to explode. We will eventually use that on them. It's kind of cool. All right, as you can see, there's one of these uh, uh, spirit springs, I think they're called. So we're going to leap up all the way up here, all the way to this grace point, and this is the next part that we're going to explore. So let's use it. You may have seen a balloon in the sky, it's over there, we'll get that in a sec. First, let's head in, head in this direction. Oh, that's what I forgot to show off, but I'll, I'll do it at some point. I think I talked about it, but I didn't actually show it off when I had the chance now. Uh, okay, head down here. Oh, got a nice little encampment here. Don't blow the horn. Oh gosh. Heal. Hey, tarnished golden sunflowers. Ah, I hate that stupid move. Where they stick the torch out and burn you. Careful, careful, careful. What did I did I take off the windy? I forgot if I actually I think I just took it off and put it on again. Oh, put the green turtle. Yeah I did. Forget to put that back on, because I don't have the Alright, what do we get? So first, let's do this. Roll fruit, ruin fragment, foot sh foot soldier tabard, five bolts. Okay, now let's go down here. I'm always looking out for these. Ah, I thought that was one damn. <laughs> the skulls with the golden golden rune ones. Alright, there's one of those big boys, so let's deal with him. Charge. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Ooh. Wait, that was... Okay, that's good. Mm. <laughs> wow. Oh, I missed. Thank you. What? He gave 1320? Holy crap. Does he respawn? I'm actually not sure now. Okay. And he was guarding this, which is one of these things here. And we can collect a tree spear. This is actually kind of an interesting item. Uh, it's also this, which is a silver firefly over here. I don't think there's anything else here, right? No. Um, yeah, this is kind of an interesting item. Or weapon, I should say. I was using it a little bit the other day, and I was like, oh, this is better than I thought. Uh, where is it? Here. So it requires 15 strength, 22 dex, and 18 faith, which we're actually very close to. Uh, it comes with Sacred Order, which is... That was... Yeah, it's a... It's a holy move. We'll see it eventually. Similar... I think it does the same thing as the... Um, the one I was talking about the other day, the... Litany of Proper Death. I think it's the same as that. Um, but it's actually got kind of a good moveset and everything. So, I don't know. I may find a use for this. Golden Spear with tree-like design, wielded by knights employed as palace guards in the royal capital of Landell, deals holy damage. Requi requ requiring superior dexterity to wield, this great spear can perform consecutive thrust attacks despite its larger size. And Sacred Order, Skill of the Golden Order Fundamentalist Knights, perform a salute and grant the armament Holy Essence, highly effective against those who live in death. Yes, we've already seen that a number of times. Okay, let's go over to the next area. Uh, the thing I was going to talk about was, um, I sort of showed it off before, here's the Finger Reader Crone before Stormvale Castle. If you go across this bridge and head down here, you can find a path that leads all the way around Stormvale Castle, so you can actually skip the whole first like major area of Stormvale, Stormvale Castle if you want. It's not a uh, probably not recommended, but you can do it. Oh, do I have the 
Ah, the golden thing is on. Maybe, is that why he gave, or well, if it ends soon, maybe that's why that guy gave so many runes. Let's see. Let's see how much that gives. Six. <laughs> Don't know if he's affected by it. Alright, I want to deal with these guys first. I want to take advantage of this, I need runes. I don't know if we've come, yeah, we came across these guys in the Witchbane Ruins. One, two, three. Ah, oh, it only gives you 5%, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's only like 5% more runes. Ruin Fragment. Ruin Fragment. Better heal just in case. This thing only lasts for a short period of time. It's quite a rare weather, weather event. Oh gosh, I didn't see. Those dogs. Good. Charge, kill. Alright, these are worth good. Good amounts. Okay, so is there... I think there's some enemies over there. I'm actually just going to really quickly equip my short bow here. Doesn't heavy load me. The balloons, the way they work, if I had a regular arrow, is basically just aim for them, fire, whatever damage you deal will kill it, and you get a golden rune 6 out of it. Is there something there that I... Probably, but it doesn't matter. And I'm pretty sure they're only one-time spawns. As you can see, that one did a little... Did less damage than it actually had health and still got it. Okay, still going. It's, as long as this uh, event is still going. Ah, okay, it, fin it finished. <laughs> right as I was about to kill some more dudes. One, two, three. There's actually. Uh, oh gosh. Game, 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 game. I, I honestly sometimes I feel like the game cheats. Like I feel like I shouldn't have been that close to death. Or I was at full health and then all of a sudden I was almost dead. I don't know. It's very strange. Up, oh, kill. I'm I'm actually watching someone play Dark Souls 2 at the moment, and <laughs> they've only played for like uh, maybe eight hours. <laughs> And they've never played the game before. They've only played for 8 hours, they have defeated the first uh, major boss, and they're on like level 57. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second, I, that that's crazy. Please let me roll, game! Stop with that bullcrap. Alright, good. I hate these guys so much. Oh, got a Cuckoo Glintstone. Uh, where am I going? North. I want to go north and I want to go east. Got to look around here on the east, eastern border. I think it's behind that. I think there's also another grace point coming up. Bolt, bolt. Stop more feather times three. That's good. Ruin fragment. Okay, I think the grace point. Yeah, there it is. And that's the other thing I want. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go down here. We can read this. Even at night, we can read it. This marks Millennia's southward march. The blade of Mikola and her clean rot knights grant her wings never to be clipped. Okay. Can I read that again? This marks Millennia's southward march. The blade of Mikola and her clean rot knights. Okay, so she came through here. I think like her whatever her journey was, sort of put her in this area. She she walked through through this area, I think is what that means. Okay, cool. So definitely get that grace point. Uh, ignore that side for now. Let's head over here to another one of these um, catacomb locators. I, I like examining them first. Show me the way. Okay, now we're going to go this way. Doing okay with runes, I would really like... A decent chunk more. All right, this part is actually kind of annoying. Um, there are going to be some new new enemies that are really small, 
and they're gonna try and like uh, like phase us with um, smoke and stuff so be aware okay there's one is there a closer one okay one two I think they're called like vulgar yeah I was about to say vulgar militia <laughs> they've got a cool scythe type weapon Killing them from the horse is probably your best bet, as long as you know they're there. Getting lucky with the drops. I keep, I actually forgot uh, and then realized later on that one of the reasons I'm probably getting a bit more lucky with drops is because I put points in arcane <laughs> um, to try and use the dragon stuff. And I will probably use that a little bit more eventually. Just not at this moment. Oh, I thought that guy's one was on fire for a sec there. He's got the saw cleaver from, uh, from Bloodborne. <laughs> Okay, careful, careful, what's over there? Ah, yes, I think this is important. I think this is, well, I don't, I can't remember, but let's find out together. I was gonna say, I think it's smithing stone, but I couldn't remember which one. I wish it was a three. <laughs> uh, we will eventually get three, but not just yet. Just checking for anything else here. I think that's it. Okay, and if we head over in this direction, we won't find what I'm looking for. <laughs> Must be further up here. Where are you? Like, seriously, where is it? There it is, okay. Kinda hard to see that one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... I was going to do this dungeon, and I can do this dungeon, but because I wanted to do it, <laughs> I, I've... I went a little bit further in a different direction and I was like, actually, you know what, it might be best if I leave this for for later, because there is something we can do. This dungeon's fairly long and there's something we can do to make it a bit easier as well and uh, show off a cool mechanic that the game has that it doesn't tell you about. So I will leave that for now. Let's go back to Leonia Highway North. It's raining. It's a shame I can't use lightning. We're still going to leave this area in front of us uh, for now. Instead, let's head down here. We find there's a way gate. We don't want to use this. Definitely don't want to use this. It takes us to a location that we don't want to go just yet. Let's take out these guys. We do find the purified ruins here. Okay, got to be very careful. One, two... Mushroom times five. I think. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, there it is. All right. This part is a little full on, so we're probably going to use the Godric Soldier Ashes. Uh, we'll talk to this guy later. So there are a lot of enemies in this area. Um, so be very careful. You'll see what I mean in a sec. If if you find the uh, soldier that blows his horn, you're gonna get overwhelmed very very quickly. Hmm. Just realised, because it's night time, probably a lot of these soldiers are actually sleeping. <laughs> oh gosh, that's weird. I think I did the double swing. Oh gosh. Where are my where are my Godric knights? There they are. Let's go around. I thought that was what happened, but wasn't sure. These runes I'm gathering up are really good, and I hope I can keep it up. Yeah, they're all sleeping. Huh, never thought about, about it like that. Most likely, if you guys are, you know, following along or whatever, and you, and you got here in the morning, or like when it was daytime, that was four Cuckoo Glintstones. Uh, they're probably just uh, patrolling. And it wasn't double swing, it was just the way that move ends. Okay. I want to make sure that everything is dead before I continue in this area. I think everything's dead? It looks like everything's dead. I also have a, hope I haven't missed any important items along the way, because I haven't got the interactive map open, so I'm not quite following it 100%. Alright, one thing you can do anytime you see these ruins is always one of these secret passages. Let's head down here. Okay. And 
and we can collect another Shabriri grape. So that's good. And the Two Fingers Heirloom. This is very, very, very useful because it allows us to raise our faith by five whole points, which is excellent. A talisman engraved with the legend of the Two Fingers raises faith. You can see that there's a few people, there's like four or five people kneeling down and bowing down to the Two Fingers. Fingers cannot speak, yet these were eloquent. Persistently, they, persistently did they wriggle, spelling out mysteries in the air. Thus did we gain the words, the words of our faith. So I guess it gives, gives a little bit of background as to how it, how it all started. Okay, so I think I killed everyone here. Let me just get an eye of... I think here's where I want to go next. It's so funny, like, when I'm practicing and I go to all these different areas and I check what's available at each area. Let's take the care of these guys. I check what is available at each area and I'm like, okay, so... And then I think about what I got at all those areas and... Oh, no! Maybe! Ah. Oh. I was, I was actually, I was actually pretty confident I was going to get away. <laughs> Damn it! Because I, I, they hit me and I still had iframes, but yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm not too far away, luckily. I need those, those runes, cannot lose them. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, I go to all these places and I try and put it in order. I'm like, alright, so I'm going to go here, then here, then here. I'll skip this part, then I'll go here, here, and here. And now it's like, I actually get to do it and it's so fast. <laughs> go, go. Jerks. No, and no, and no. I win. Ah, suck on that. Alright, uh, let's go over to where I put the indicator. Wait, was the skull still there? It was sort of around here. Yeah, it's probably gone. I think they respawn uh, in different locations, or spawn in different locations. I'm gonna take care of these, even though I don't really need to. I'll do it because I want the uh, the runes. I heard you following me. Where'd you go? Oh, you are there. Okay. I went early because I thought he was gonna charge at me. Nice. Okay, these episodes are going well so far. Let's hop over into this area. Is there any... I think there's an item here somewhere. There's a big uh, lobster boy. And look, it's Hyeta again. And I'll talk to her in just a moment. I just really quickly wanted to check if there was any items. I don't think there was. Okay. Let's talk to Hyeta. Oh, geez, I wonder what she wants now. Let's see. Hello? Is someone there? Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Well, what do you know? I happen to have another one. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes, but you seem somehow firmer. Hmm. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. I wonder what she means by that. Like, is she saying that she, like other tarnished, try and help her, but we're the only ones that actually... Like, she kind of gives a damn about because we, there's something about it, us that is a bit stronger. I don't know. Weird way of putting it. Alright, these big uh, crawfish, I guess they're called. Oh, I've never done one. I've, done, I've never done this. Nope. Game! Now I'm gonna die. Maybe not. Ah, oh, thank goodness, got away. I don't generally kill these guys, but because I found out that they can be bled with the Bloodhound's Fang. It's actually not that bad, man. They are creepy. Oh no, Pinchy! 500. 500's not bad. And you get a strip of white flesh. Cool. Alright, so let's have a look. So we've already done, as you can see, Church of Erith is here. That's where we started. We've already went here, went a little bit further to get the map. 
came back here to Stillwater Cave, checked this whole area and this whole area. And now I actually can't quite... Oh, Lightseeker Hayata. I didn't know that was how they named her. Now I actually can't remember where I'm supposed to go next, but that's fine because the episode is pretty much over. I will just have a very quick look. It looks like we're going to go to the Laskia ru ruins, which I think are here. And I'm also pretty sure that there's a grace point just before it, so I'll head up here north. Yeah, what I'll do in between episodes is I'm going to have a look to make sure, further left, that I didn't miss anything uh, that I could have collected before. I'm sure there's a grace point here. Oh gosh. These guys are interesting, they're on horseback. One, two, three. Ah! I think these are also those who live in death. Where's the damn grace point? I know there's one here. There it is. Okay. Wait. Take you out quickly. Good. I don't drop many runes. Okay. Very useful grace point to get. Okay. Cool. We'll leave things here. I'm going to grab this real quick. Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 2. That also really helps, like, finding these, or looking at where they place these in the world and going, okay, so this is generally probably where I'm supposed to go next. This one gives you freezing grease, which is really cool. Uh, we can't technically make it because uh, we need a specific item, but there are some in this area. They're not supposed to be, but there are some. We'll uh, learn more about that eventually. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 35 of Let's Platinum Elden Ring. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.